topic just to kind of brush right off the, the bat in terms of the, the decision around the title, um, where the implications of the titles in Spanish and English are quite different. Um, and talking about the palette that you're creating uh, or that you're establishing when audiences go in, or the context, um, and your decision behind that, and, and generally how the film will be then appreciated in the different contexts. Thank you. Well, of course, uh, as you, if you know a little bit of Spanish, uh, you will understand that the, 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 the title in English is totally different. Uh, in Spanish, the name is La Teta Asustada. That is more or less like the scared breast or the fearful breast, something like that. And of course, it's very difficult to understand uh, why we, we actually change that. But, but in Spanish, the name of La Teta Asustada is the real name of the illness. The illness actually exists in Peru. It was discovered actually uh, by an American professor of Harvard. She, she did a deep research in, in Ayacucho and a lot, lot of parts of the Andes of Peru. And, and she actually recollect a lot of testimonies of women that were somehow maltreated right during the war. And in lots of those testimonies, they talk about the milk of sorrow that has started. And that's how I actually uh, like understand or like find out about this this illness, no? So for me, it was never a question about the title in, in Spanish. I, I always defended that it has to be called La Tosta because it's the illness and I, that I'm treated. And even though that my producers thought that it was a name that somehow could turn you to a different direction. <laughs> Somehow it's funny or it's kind of very little porn or whatever. You know? <laughs> uh, but for me it was totally impossible. You know, for, it's a, it was a very artistic kind of decision. But when it comes to the English translation, I actually realized that it was very difficult and the, and the expression uh, didn't have the same meaning in, in, in English that it did in Spanish. Because in Spanish, even though 